my channel if you don't know who I am. If you don't know who I am, my name is Chloe Leach and I make YouTube videos because I think I'm funny. Yay! If you can't tell, I'm a little irritated because I just filmed a get to know me tag and it deleted by itself. So. Yay! Good to know that I'm like filming again, right? Yay! So. Like I said in my last video, like this is a very sketchy setup. I'm obviously in bed because I'm lazy. I look like trash. My cat's over there. This stuff is gonna fall. Blah 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 blah. Okay. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a, like a different thing. I'm gonna see how many of these questions I can answer in 12 minutes. So just so that the video doesn't run on too long. Okay. So we're gonna get started. And we're gonna get started. Now, okay, what is your full name? My full name is Chloe Elizabeth Leach. Are you named after anyone? My middle name is after my aunt Kara. Her middle name is Elizabeth. <laughs> <coughs> what does your name mean? I don't know. I'm not gonna Google it. I have 12 minutes. Where are you from? I'm not gonna tell you. You don't need to know. Where do you live? Why do you need to know that? Yes, this is my address. Here you go, people. Stalk me if you want. <clears throat> where were you born? That also gives away like so much, especially like if I live in the same area. Like, geez, you don't need to know my location. <laughs> Which of your parents are you closest to? I'm not really like super close to anyone. I really just kind of shut everyone out because like, you know, uh, I don't have any friends and so I don't trust anyone. Because everyone that I have trusted besides like my family, well even like my family sometimes, has betrayed me. So, there you go. Which of your parents are you most like? I think I just take a little bit from each of them. I think I'm really like, I'm really different from everyone else in my family, so there you go. What is your favorite drink? Vonos. What is your favorite food? Pickles. Wow, well, you're learning so much. This is going to be so boring. What is your favorite holiday destination? My grandma's house, because that's the only place I go on holidays. But if you're talking about where I want to go on vacation, I would love to go to Hawaii or Australia. Oh, New Zealand. Well, you know. Anyone anyway, about you? <laughs> what is your favorite childhood memory? Okay, this is a painful one. But when I was, like, in first or second grade, I decided it would be a good idea to do somersaults down the stairs. I thought I could do one and then just slide down the rest of the way. And let's just say that did not happen. And let's just say there was a bookshelf at the end. And I rammed into the bookshelf and it hurt. So, yeah. But that's just a funny one. What is your favorite way to pass the time? I like writing, I like reading, I like uh, watching TV and movies. What is your favorite snack? I love buffalo blue cheese combos and Funyuns and peanut M&Ms. What is your favorite sports? What is your, what, hold on. What is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is, um... Probably like swimming or soccer or gymnastics in the Olympics. Maybe not soccer in like the Olympics, but like swimming and gymnastics in the Olympics. What is your biggest regret? Probably not putting myself out there enough and just kind of sitting in the shadows. We are like 30 minutes in and I'm already like 16 in. Are you a fan of any sports teams? Yes, but that gives away my location, which you don't need to know. Are you a dog person or a cat person? A dog person because my cat is mean and vicious even though she's sitting right there super cute and super perfect. But my dog likes to cuddle and she does not. <laughs> she's sitting literally the farthest point away from me on my bed. So, are you scared of heights? No, I'm more scared of dying. So if I'm a pilot and I'm not strapped in, yes, I'm going to freak out. If I don't feel secure, I'm going to freak out because I do not want to die. <laughs> At what age did you go on your first date? To... What was I going to say? I don't even know. Oh, to be announced. I have not been on a first date. So, any of you guys out there... What is your ideal first date? Probably going out to dinner and just getting to know each other. Because, you know, I feel like you need to do that. What is at the top of your bucket list? I don't have a bucket list, but I guess I would really like to go to Australia, New Zealand, or Hawaii. <laughs> what is something you're gifted at? My grandma tells me I'm gifted at writing, so yay. 
I like kind of like this is a keychain by the way just in case you want to what is something you look for in a partner someone who is almost exactly like me because well no <laughs> I will I don't want that <laughs> probably just someone who's like nice and funny and loyal and kind and like sweet I don't know someone who likes me for me not like I don't know someone who believes me when like stuff happens because you know someone told someone's put a rumor about me and now I have no friends so there you go uh, what is something you wish you were gifted at doing? I wish that I could um, either like sing really well because I like singing or like dance really well like dance moms because I love dance moms. What is one item you can't leave home without? Probably my a book because I take a book pretty much everywhere I go so yeah I always have a book with me. So I feel like if I go to like practice for something, because like why bring a book when you're gonna be doing stuff the whole time? What is the best compliment you've ever received? I so I wrote a script. It's called Ugh, I'm sorry, I did not take my allergy medicine today. It's called After the Accident. It is about a girl whose family died in a car accident and how she's coping with it and how her life has changed. And after I wrote it, I planned on making a movie and that did not work out. But my grandma read the script and she went around and told everyone, Oh my gosh, you should read the script. It's so good. Or, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see the movie that she makes out of it. And I thought that was a really big compliment to me because, like, that was, like, the biggest thing I... That took me two years to write and it was, like, my biggest accomplishment ever. So, yeah. What is the first book you ever remember reading? Junie B. Jones. Junie B. Jones. <laughs> what is the first movie you ever remember seeing? Um, High School Musical... I watched it twice in one day my, at my grandma's house. We watched it the first time, but we were all, like, playing and, like, rowdy, and so we didn't pay attention. And we watched it the second time when we were falling asleep. But we obviously did not fall asleep because that was an amazing movie. <laughs> uh, what was the last book you read? The last full book I read was Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Currently, I'm reading Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I'm reading the Harry Potter series, if you cannot tell. <laughs> Do you like pets? Yes. I want to have a ton of pets. Do you have any pets? Just gonna mess this all up real quick. Uh, uh, I can't even get it. No, I don't have any pets. Sorry, me being sarcastic is gonna mess up this entire video. Yikes. Okay, uh, this is falling now. Ah, okay. Um, what is the name of your first pet? My first pet, her name was Kelly. She was a dog. She was super cute. What is your best physical feature? I think it's my eyes. Or my smile. But, like, my mom thinks. Well, people think it's my smile, but, like, I think it's my eyes. I just think my eyes are nice. <sighs> what is your biggest accomplishment? Like I said, I finished writing that script, and it took me two years, and I'm so proud of it. So, yeah. What is your eye color? Blue. What is your favorite color? Blue. What is your favorite fairy tale? Probably like Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, or The Little Mermaid. I loved all of those. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Cookies and cream. What is your favorite music genre? I think I listen to mostly like pop music like on the radio, but I really like listening. Like I listen to a lot of different things because my family likes a lot of different things, so I just get it on my phone. So yeah. What is your favorite nickname? For myself, okay, I made both of these up in like sixth grade. So first is like Princess Coconut, and um, because you know coconut, coconut, uh, I'm funny. Um, and then there was Clocaine, like you know cocaine. Yeah, I'm great. What is your favorite quote? Right now, my favorite quote is I had to learn how to fight for myself because uh, if you don't know, well, I'm gonna make a video about it eventually. But I've been bullied a ton, and so and so I still have no friends because of it. Since seventh grade, I haven't really had like any like close friends, so um, I'm just kind of starting to learn how to fight for myself right now and like make myself happy. So yeah, what is your favorite clothing type? Oh, type of clothing. Ugh, I can't read. Uh, I like sweatshirts. If you can't tell, I wear sweatshirts. I probably wear sweatshirts in like almost every video. 
What is your most commonly used swear word? People don't think of it as a swear word, but I say, oh my god, all the time. But I don't really swear, so, yeah. Oh, my ear itches. What is your star sign? I am a Capricorn. December 22nd is my birthday. I don't know if that's a star sign. I googled it before I made this, and that's what it said, so I don't know. Do you have a best friend? If so, then who? Um, not really anyone near me, but I think, like, my cousin, Melissa Stevens, who, you know, shout out, she has a YouTube channel, you should check it out. Uh, I don't know the last time she posted that, it was a long time ago. Um, but she's been my best friend since, like, she was born, because, you know, she's five months younger than me, so I'm older, but, like, whatever. <laughs> Do you have a tattoo? No. Do you have any allergies? Literally, like, everything. Uh, I'm only allergic to tweet outs as food, so that's good. Uh, but then I'm allergic to literally anything with fully, even though I, you know, just showed you my cat. Um, but she's a Siamese cat, so I'm not as allergic to her. It's mostly my dog, and my dog sleeps in my room all the time, so I'm like, ugh, right now. But yeah, do you have any birth mugs? Oh yeah, and everything outside. I'm allergic to everything outside. Do you have any birth mugs? If so, will I have, like, this spaceship-looking one on my ankle. I'm not going to show it to you because I'm comfy. And everything's going to break and fall if I try to move. But, yeah, but it's weird because I didn't have it when I was born. I, like, got it over time, which is weird. Right? Is that even a birthmark anymore? I don't know. Um, do you hold any convictions that you'd be willing to die for? Like, crimes? Because, no. <laughs> do you prefer kissing or cuddling? Never had a boyfriend. Gentlemen, I'm single. I hate myself. <laughs> What piece of technology can y'all live without? Probably like a fan because I cannot sleep without a fan. Or lights. Like I really like lights. <laughs> what was the first concert you ever attended? It's called Winter Jam. Probably like 2012-2013. It was when I was in like 6th grade. What is your favorite subject in high school? Any theater class and any English class. When, uh, I, yeah, we're out of time. No more questions. Yay! We did it! Yay! We answered 50, I answered 54 questions out of 90 something, so that's really good, I'm proud of myself. So yeah, yeah, we got to, we didn't get to one that was like, gonna be like, sad, like, when was the last time you cried? Like, earlier today. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I actually don't know, but recently, because you know, I'm a crybaby and I'm depressed. So yeah, <laughs> there you go, that is 54 get to know me 54 get to know me questions answered I don't know how I'm gonna title this probably 54 facts about me yeah if you guys liked this <coughs> uh, I'm sorry if you guys liked this video please give it a big thumbs up not copying you know other YouTubers or anything by saying that I just realized when I was saying it. If you like this video, I mean, hit the like button, I guess. <laughs> uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already because I'm going to start trying to make content regularly. I don't know how it's actually, uh, I don't know how it's actually gonna go. Um, yeah, comment down below any other ideas you have for videos because I'm willing to do like anything. So, well, almost anything beyond, like, beyond, within a reason. <laughs> So yeah, that is all I have for you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!